okay to make the model of the ocean floor, why don't you take three scoops of the sand and put it in one of the aluminum bins that we have in class. Bring that over to your lab table. All right, once you're back at your table, make sure you've got a magnetic field sensor. You can zero it out by just kind of pointing it down and tapping the screen and hitting zero. All right, and then now what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take a pencil and put it in the tray such that it points at north. And you can kind of look on the sides of the tray to see which side north is. All right, now you have to place some magnets. And these are um, called just little disc magnets here. And I did mark them at one point with a plus. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let um, me zoom in there. You can see there's a plus on this one for the positive side. And so you might be able to find that plus. If you don't know which side is the positive side, well, it's really easy to figure out. You just take your magnetic field sensor and you angle it at one of the sides. And so this side is giving me a positive reading on the sensor and this side of the magnets is giving me a negative reading. So this is kind of important here as well. It's very important if you don't set this up right, you're not gonna get good data. Um, you're gonna wanna take these disc magnets and position them such that you have the positive side up and then the negative side up. And then the positive side up. So you can keep checking, you can check every single one to make sure you do this right. So it should go positive, negative, positive, and then continue the pattern over. Positive, negative, positive. So again, just to, to recap, because this is important to get it right, positive, negative, positive, positive, negative, positive. If you have that set, carefully bury the magnets just so you can't see them. It should be around line two here, transect two. And the magnets kind of wanna hop over to one another, so try to just do that carefully so they don't hop over to one another here. And so this is your model of the ocean floor and it's been magnetized, okay? Obviously, we know the pattern, but that's okay. We can go ahead and run the data anyway. All right, I don't think I said this before, but I'll make sure to say it now. Make sure that your sensor is on the 6.4 setting. That's the setting you use when you're using it around um, magnets. So the 6.4 setting. Go to your lab quest and, well, let's zero it out first. Angle it down. Don't angle it over one of the hovered over one of the magnets. But again, just angle the sensor down, kind of in a neutral place on the table, and go ahead and zero it out. All right, and then let's go ahead and set this up right. So we're going to want to set it up um, to be an events with entry time of collect, uh, mode of collection, and the event name I think should probably be um, distance. So distance. And you've done the similar thing in the past year with this. And the units are centimeters. Great. So that's set. Next you'll want to set a ruler, and I think you're going to be able to tell where I'm going with this. You're going to want to set it so that you're going to be able to take readings, hovering over these uh, magnets that you set, going from 10 to 30. All right. Um, so. To do that, just simply hit play when you're at the 10. And if you can see what I'm doing here, I'll move this over. Hit keep. And that is at the 10, so I'll just type 10. And you can go ahead and go to 11, hit keep, and so on, 12, 13, 14, all the way to 30. All right, when you're done with the data collection, 
Um, go ahead and take a look at your data should look kind of like that where it goes up, dips down, goes up, dips down, goes up again obviously because of the position of the magnets. Go ahead and connect to your iPad. All right, so I'm going to scan the QR code really quick. Don't forget to do that. All right. I'm going to visit that site and see the data here. All right. I'm going to double tap the screen. That'll auto scale it. I'm going to hit the I. I'm going to add my lines. Okay. Good. I'll screenshot that. That looks great. I'll add that to my file and notability. All right. Let me go over and get to the worksheet here. So that's going to go here. All right. And go ahead and whoops. There we go. I want you to make that a little bigger. So you can write on it. All right. Cuz it's got some directions here where you need to label it according to the directions under processing the data. And that's what I'm talking about right there. So you're going to have to go ahead and label this thing. When you're done with the lab, don't forget to shut down your lab quest and go ahead and return the sand. Before you do that, make sure to take the magnets out so there aren't magnets sitting in here. All right, pan back, magnets go back to the side of the room, and you're all set.